Hi friends, I'm Tammy Kay. Welcome back to my channel. And we are continuing in the Christmas theme. We're gonna be creating this beautiful, tiny rainbow Christmas tree. And yes, I do have some paint on my fingers. I just taught elementary art. So it is what it is. Go from one painting to another. I'm so excited to teach this to you. Let's do it. Okay, so when we create Christmas tree, we can be inspired by many things. Here's uh, a couple reels that I did in those last few weeks. And here's some trees I was just playing around with. Not really sure what that is. Clearly I didn't finish it. But today we're gonna take inspiration from this one and do our own. So same small version. What I like to do first is just take my pencil loosely and start drawing out kind of that shape that I'm looking for. So if I'm looking at this guy here, I'm gonna try to make that line about the same length and then I'm gonna have my star up here. And then I want my tree to kind of have this nice triangular shape in the end. So if I want to make sure it's even, a quick little sketch is gonna help me um, get to that point. And if I go outside my sketch lines, that's okay. And you can too. That's the excitement about art. You can do whatever you want. And you can just play, you can just have fun. So that's the idea right there. And we're just gonna take our number four round brush and we're gonna spray down our paints. That would be a good idea. By the way, I'm using meat and supplies today. They're all listed in the description of this video. Paint, palette, the paper, and the brushes, all so great. So I'm gonna start with my red and we're going to get kind of a cream consistency here. Nice and thick, nice and lovely. We're just going to start making tiny little diagonal brush strokes here in that first part following the pencil line. And it's nice to have the pencil there as a guideline so that you don't go too far or whatever, if that's your concern. Okay, so we have our red point, our part here. Now we're gonna take our orange. So cream consistency is basically like mostly paint, a little bit of water so that you can spread the paint. Butter would be, and we're gonna start going maybe downward stroke soon, okay? We're gonna start flipping that around. So butter would be where <laughs> it's so thick with paint that you just can't even spread it around. So we're not going that thick, we're going with cream and really nice and pigmented. So we don't really have to go back later and add more color unless we want to, which would be totally fine. So I'm just angling my brush. I want this tip to be the where the outside of these little um, pine needles, branches, whatever you wanna call them are so that I have a nice point versus a rounded one, which would is what I would get if I used this part was on the outside, if that makes sense. Okay, so this is such an easy peasy painting. I need to take a breath right now and I'm gonna encourage you to do it as well. It's always important to slow down, to be mindful of what you're accomplishing. I've got some of that lovely yellow next. So what I like to do now is just kind of do these little squiggly marks. We're just sketching in. And if you feel stressed at all by this, just slow down or even take a break. Turn off the tutorial. Come back to this later when you feel more at ease or sometimes just doing something different will help with a better perspective. You might be anxious because of watercolor or you might be anxious just because of life and things that are happening in your life. So within that, we have to just be mindful of where we're at, take some space, take a break and remind yourself this is fun, right? Painting is fun. We used to create art, most of us, and I'm just getting wider, right? As I get out farther. When we were, when we were kids, I was say babies, but little kids. And we didn't worry about all the things that we worry about now. We just created and we just enjoyed that process. And we probably were just living in the moment, not even thinking about much of anything else. What a blessing to have. And I know we can experience that again as adults. It's just harder for us. What do you think would be like if we could create and never worry about all those things? I'm gonna do some blue, just adding until we get down to that purple for the skirt of our tree. Just creating, just enjoying, just playing. So these scratchy marks are just, you know, leaving a lot of white space and it's just to be very, um, I don't know, artistic, you know, playing with the brush strokes and seeing what look we like. 
and some of them can be thicker and some can be thicker, uh, thinner. And you can mix some of those layers together, blend them a little bit. And then we'll do our purple. So guys, I always forget to say, but um, if you are liking this video, please give it a like, subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out on my future videos as we do purple here. And there is a link for Patreon if you're interested in becoming a member on there. That's where I offer bonus content, exclusive tutorials, and you get all of my YouTube videos ad-free and a day early. Uh, we have live stream in some of the tiers and even flower drawing sheets in some of the tiers as well. And a little bit more of the purple here, just mixing it together and being extra fun about it. I've got some brown from a different palette, so I'm just going to put in the trunk of the tree and then take a cleanish damp brush and just spread that out for some ground. I do want to add a star too, so we're going to do that with our yellow color. Simply just paint in a little line right there and then across and then one here and one here. And then I just like to make it a little bit thicker on each side. And you know, it's a little bit of a wonky star, but hey, we have a star, maybe more like a starfish. <laughs> and then I'm just gonna take whatever paint I have on here, really watery mix. And we're just gonna do some splatter to finish up that part. I am gonna take a little bit of black from my palette and I'm going to add in a little contrast on one side. And that is our Christmas tree painting. All right, friends, I hope you enjoyed painting that Christmas tree with me today. And hopefully it was relaxing. It gave you a time and space to breathe, play, and enjoy. And remember, I teach watercolor on Patreon, so you can check out the link in the description for bonus content and all the things. Happy painting, happy mental health to all of you. Just breathe. Oh, 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 oh,